Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another Star Smash video, but I'm not alone today. I'm here with Zenrot. Hello, it's me. That's right. This is the second time we're recording this because I put your audio super low. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was going to try to sell the illusion, but yeah, we... Nope. We're like, <laughs> we recorded like a solid eight minutes of audio we that did. is useless. <laughs> that is basically useless. Um... <laughs> This, which is a shame, it was a pretty good bits in there. Some good bits such as, if you like that, you should leave a like, <laughs> comment, and subscribe to my stuff. <laughs> as we're going to go into Star Smash today, so we're going to be talking about the main banner units, which was um, which is Alice and Mad Hatter and the March Hare. It's so weird when one, when you use the and and the other character is also an and. Yeah, so it, well, when you have a non-duo character and then a duo character, so you have to say and twice, and it's just as confusing. Yeah, it's 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 real weird. Which is fitting, because it's Alice in Wonderland, and Alice in Wonderland is a world full of weird. Um, and I did not realize that Alice was supposed to be seven years old. Yeah, she's seven years old. Um, which Yeah, is, that which, wow. Because yeah. I was talking in the chat, uh, in mine, and someone, I think it was Rooks, was like, man, in the anime art style, Alice looks like she's 10 years old. That's crazy. And I was like, isn't she actually supposed to be young? Turns out she's seven the whole time. Yeah, she's seven. Um, which is why, if you ever wonder why Alice in Wonderland is, why all the characters make these rash, annoying decisions, it's because it's supposed to be in the mind of a seven-year-old. So that's why so much of it just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> fair and why also a lot of it is about like learning math and linguistics <laughs> and, and all this other stuff is because uh you know we'll save that for star smash get ready for my okay. segment when it comes up <laughs> all right but we're gonna be talking about the the banner guys we're gonna start with mad hatter and the march hair um so both alice and uh mad hatter slash march hair are green units but this one is a four star which means he does not have a passive, which is the biggest difference between them. At least we think that he might unlock a passive as you get more dupes. Um, I ha I think I have my March Hare and Mad Hatter level 3 dupe. <laughs> I think I got him 15 somehow. <laughs> yeah, I think I got a couple going for Alice. Um, yeah. But I've just never farmed a 4-star because why would I do that? Yeah, no. It's, so uh, it's just kind of like... Uh, with all the free to play five stars out there why would you ever kind of yeah but time? all of the content in the game right now is farming up five stars so why would you ever farm up a four star let me tell you it's because that four stars name is abu and i have a fully <laughs> max graded out abu that's fair i did not max grade uh abu but i probably should have just because it's aladdin stuff I maxed out Genie and Abu. I did not max out <laughs> Jafar. <laughs> this shows you where my time and effort yeah, went. Yeah, I, I maxed all of them. Well, I didn't did max Jasmine or, or or the Gacha Latin, obviously. But of the farmables, I did uh, Genie and you, and I did uh, Jafar and Aladdin. Yeah, understandable. You, you did not pick Monkey Route. And speaking no. <laughs> of monkey business, we got, of course, March Hare and -Hare, Mad Hatter. Um, their support ability on the field is the cross. It is the T-shape, not the X-shape, so it's uh, similar to Aladdin's. And their special is being able to use two balls. We don't have a special term for it because the game literally just says, get another ball. Yeah, I'm like 90% sure the translation is create second ball. Yeah, create second ball, which would make an awesome t-shirt now that I think about it. <laughs> I would wear a shirt that just says, create, uh, make, create second ball. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how it'd go. Um, they seem perfectly fine. There's not a lot of, like, uh, standout green units from what I can tell. So if you pull them, I'm not sure if I would go for... Uh, the only green unit I've ever seen in use is... The Evil Queen from Snow White, the free-to-play four-star. The five-star, my bad. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of the way the game works, is that, like, you want to have max grade in PvP so that you can... Not PvP, fucking... I always do that. I always call anything with more than one player PvP. It's not what it is. Uh, maybe the way we in play co -op, <laughs> The way we play well, it's PvP. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Um, 
Anyway. Yeah. Fuck, I forgot what I was going to say about them now that I fucked up the PvP thing. Oh, because you want to have max grade when you go into co-op so that everybody gets as many drops as possible. So, yes. you know, that's why you never see gotcha units anymore in, in co-op. In co-op, for sure, you just don't see them, and it's understandable. Um, but if you have a max high grade of them, I think it would work out perfectly fine. I think that will probably change as the game kind of gets older and we start getting some of the more banner units to higher grade levels. Starting out, it just makes 100% sense to get all the free-to-play units as high grade as possible. And then later on when, um, you know, just over time you're going to get max grade of the gacha units when you're like going for that ultimate uh, Disney character that you've been wanting. When Frozen comes out in like two weeks and people will go crazy. And do you think that's going to be the Christmas banner? Because I kind of do. It's either This is Fro totally off topic, but I think it's going to be Frozen. It's either going to be Frozen or Nightmare Before Christmas. Those are my two, the ones I think about. Because I was. Thinking I'm really it was like, hoping it's Nightmare Before Christmas because that would be so cool <laughs> to I... do. But I'm like 90% sure it's frozen. That's the thing is that it, I hate it when Gotcha specifically release in November. Um, a, a Dragalia does this, uh, and uh, it ends up fucking up Halloween big time. I just swore. I forgot that I don't do that for the Disney ones. Actually, I don't. <laughs> it's fine. It ends up screwing a lot of things over um, because Pokemon being... Masters did that too because you missed. Halloween. So we had a, like the first Halloween banner was after the game been out for a year, because it like didn't have a seasonal one right until Christmas. Yeah, it, it ends up being just screwy. <laughs> no, actually, another thing, but I think Dragalia came out right in October, so it ends up screwing up with the anniversary. So now Halloween is considered under anniversary, but they're so focused on anniversary stuff that they don't actually care about Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, I can see that. Yeah, so I hope that doesn't happen with this. And again, if we're hoping for the future, fingers crossed on Nightmare. I'm, I, you know, actually, I'm probably one of the few people who will be like, yeah, I like Frozen. I don't know how I would act specifically if I saw an anime um, Elsa. I just <laughs> like, just like in my head, I'm like, well, it's Frozen. I should be able to save. Like, what am I, I'm just gonna get a bunch of Olafs. It's until I see that art style is when everything changes. <laughs> similar to oh, when I saw, it, similar to how I saw Belle in the anime art style, and I said, "Oh, I need to install this game. <laughs> I need this <laughs> game in my life." Yeah, if it's Frozen, I will probably be able to to do without the guy. I have all of the. I mean, I say all of like. It's been more than two, but I have Aladdin and Alice. Um, but if if Frozen drops, I will probably be able to to fight the urge not, not i don't hate frozen but it's just not my thing yeah it's newer Disney, but if it's so nightmare can... before christmas i'm screwed like i gotta get it yeah no i'm 100 I'm you with that one if it's if it's jack skellington I'm, I'm out of options yeah there's just no no saving it jack skeleton is just too hype of a anime jack skeleton is just too powerful oh dude it's good. It, yeah that's gonna be too much it's too, too much. much strength anime jack skeleton in the santa costume oh <laughs> Jack's claws, J uh, Jack Skeleton and Sandy Claws, the ultimate combo. <laughs> the ultimate duo. That's what the uh, instead of Jack versus Oogie Boogie, the farmable card is going to be. Jack versus Sandy Claws. Oh, and I hope that they do that, it's similar to in Nightmare, where it's Jack uh, in the Santa Claus outfit. Like someone does a like a really bitching painting of him, and the beard is just nowhere close to his skeleton face. <laughs> hanging off his face he's just dangling oh that would be uh, extreme we are very on topic right now we are i was about to transition so good i was gonna say speaking of extremely powerful we have alice who is perhaps the best arguably one the best unit in the game currently um her ult is the big ball and her passive is, is that if she is in big ball form and she hits a time breaker gate which is a specific like enemy trap no, she doesn't even have to be in big ball form it's just she if really? she touches it at all yeah oh wow that's way better um there's a specific enemy trap that makes you lose time and similar to jafar and aladdin which is something you said uh previous video i'm just taking it to make it seem smarter um if she touches it then she just completely destroys it um Yep. And her big ball costs three instead of two. The reason is is that uh, I think most big ball have a multiplier at level one of like a hundred and fifty something. 
her big ball at level one is like two hundred and thirty-eight. It's like something. Yeah, it, it costs more than Dumbo's by yeah. one, but the damage is a lot higher. And like the only complaint I have with Dumbo is that he doesn't hit very hard. Yeah. So like, Alice is really good she's in my bad. opinion. I think she's great. I also think that the damage is every time you hit a unit, you deal more damage. Um, I think that's the way all big balls work, is that they're similar to, like, roll. That's why you want to hit them from the sideways, is um, to deal, to get the most amount of damage out of everything. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. So, Alice ends up just being this complete monster powerhouse. I think the only thing she has a weakness is, is that she's afraid of red. That's basically it. <laughs> Yeah, well, that and you can't get her max grade, but that's if, if we list that as a weakness, every single gacha character will have it. So what's the point? Exactly. Um, so we probably won't actually for uh, the multiplayer side. I've definitely let like one Alice go just because sometimes I just don't want to deal with four genies. Yeah, I mean the bonus coins are are nice. And she also has the lightning strike, so she really is just Dumbo but stronger. Yeah, she's she's just Dumbo but better. Um, unless you really want to argue you that having the extra energy makes her bad or something, but that's, I, I think, think she's. I think it, it's a way to make her balance. I think it's kind of important. I think yeah, because if she costs it too, she would just make Dumbo not exist anymore. <laughs> you want to talk about making Dumbo not existent? She makes every ball unit non-existent. <laughs> they may as well not be in the game. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty true. <laughs> yeah, so I, it's a good balance. I really like her. I was able to pull her after one multi and three singles. Uh, you were able to get her after three. I I don't, again, as we mentioned before, as we excitedly talked about the potential of Nightmare and I talked about the danger that would be Anime Elsa, I don't, if any of those two sound extremely intriguing to you, I would hold off a bit. Um, she is definitely super strong, but we're so early on in the game that literally... It's going to take a while for them to release a unit and they're not the strongest unit in the game is kind of how yeah, I see it. I mean, I don't know that Aladdin was ever the strongest unit in the game. I think he was really good. He was definitely the coolest. Oh, he still is. Yeah, the, <laughs> but, uh, giant yeah. Laser. Yeah, the laser beam is awesome, but I don't know. I think the problem is units come out and they're, like, perfect for the events that they come out for because that's just how this game works. They literally release gotcha units that hard counter the event and so they come out and everyone's like oh my god this unit is incredible and then you go play other stuff and you're like oh <laughs> it's yeah. just normal but uh alice does not really have that problem because dumbo was already really good and now we have alice who's super dumbo yeah yeah uh i also do like that they've kind of paid a little attention to the movie where in alice in wonderland she has the ability to eat some mushrooms and grow random sizes and they gave her the one ability in the game that lets you choose go from small to big then back to small <laughs> so i thought that, that is true yeah. i did not think about that but that is a cool little nod yeah i i thought it was similar to and oh, just like in uh aladdin where he shoots giant laser beams they also kept that in yeah that's 100 percent accurate <laughs> the, that's why he's cannon the, to the war that's why he's a nightmare class the ultimate nightmare. <laughs> the ultimate nightmare. Aladdin's laser beams. Exactly. <laughs> you could you the, if Aladdin shot a laser beam, I think that would automatically have made it so it would have uh, been a crime that it did not win the Oscar that year. <laughs> the the Academy would literally tumble because they're like, how did we let this movie where a genie played by Robin Williams shoots a laser beam? at a man named Jafar <laughs> and the day is saved. How did we not give this the Oscar? That is very true. Yeah. So yeah, those are the two units. Um, I really like Alice. I kind of haven't been able to use the March here because as you said, not a lot of use for a four star, but if they're your favorite character, then I think they're perfectly solid enough that you could use them if you wanted. Um, but yeah, I think that's basically it. Do you have any last thoughts about them? Uh, no. I think that they're both fine. Um, I don't know that four stars are ever going to be, like, good. Like, conventionally great or anything like that. But, um, I really, really like Alice. I think she's, one, a lot of fun, and two, really good. Um, 
And also her art is good, but every single character's art is good, so that doesn't really matter, I guess. As you said, uh, she looks ten instead of seven. <laughs> if that was yeah, like... somehow the, the going anime ended up aging her up. Yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. But yeah, all right then. That's the end of today's video, everyone. Once again, if you end up liking this video, you can leave a like, comment, tell us how you feel about Alice. Are you ex or anything we talked about? If you're excited for a potential Jack Skeleton for a potential anime, also tell us about it. I'll definitely read and talk back to it and all the good stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll take back to Zen and say, like, look, check out this awesome comment I got, Zen. <laughs> you won't believe how crazy You won't it believe is. how badly this guy wants anime, Elsa. <laughs> you won't believe it. This one guy is super into the idea of anime Sally, which I did. We didn't even <laughs> talk about that. <laughs> we didn't even. Oh, man, that's the, the topic for another day. <laughs> <laughs> that's a topic for its own video. <laughs> yeah, that's a topic for its own time. <laughs> uh, and of course subscribe wait for the podcast wait for the podcast, <laughs> wait for the podcast. <laughs> oh. but yeah that's the and of course subscribe to me if you want some more of me video stuff goodness check out my other stuff damn it all right <laughs> now it's time to end the video <laughs> say goodbye zen Bye, everybody. Check See, out his other stuff, damn it. Yes, that should be my new outro. Check out my other stuff, damn it. <laughs> <laughs>